I'm going to try and go to the Nusuk app. If you don't have one already, make sure you download it. And, and when you go to the Nusuk app, you have two options. Either if you have already registered, then you would log in. But let's say you have not registered yet, you click on new user. There are different options here. Uh, what you want to do most likely if you're a visitor, you'll be a visitor. So you'll come enter your visa number, your, your passport number, your date of birth, your nationality, and then your country code, your number, email address, make sure it's an email address that you have access to, and then uh, enter your password. So again, uh, check the, if you need assistance, accept the conditions, read the immunization uh, conditions that you need to visit the kingdom, and then uh, enter services for Muslims that you recognize that some of these services are only available to Muslims. And then when you click register, it will give you an option to then have an option where you can log in. Let's say once you have already logged in, you would click on login, go to visitor, and again, you would be able to enter your password, your passport name number, your password, and then click login. When you do that, it will uh, send an email out to the email address that you uh, that you had used for registration. And once you have the code, you enter the code. And you're logged in. So once you're logged in, you would see a screen, something similar. You have a couple of options. You can either book a slot for Umrah. You could also book praying in the Noble Radha for men and depending on your situation for women. So let's say I'm trying to bo uh, book a slot for praying in the Noble Radha for men. I click on this. It will give me the option to select the user. And then it will show different dates. Right, again, look at the date options that you have. Now, it will not always show slots for times that are fairly far out, right? So if I try to go to July, I might not necessarily see a lot of slots in there. So they don't open up all the slots right away. But like you can see, I can see slots for the next week. So depending on what time you are gonna arrive, you want to try and select a slot, right? And then again, be careful to pick some time that you can make, right? And uh, if you end up missing your appointment, it is uh, hard to get another time. They don't let you book another slot for X amount of time and then you might miss out. So, to, so try to uh, keep looking and then be aware of the dates that you're going to be in Medina and then try to book a slot. So again, like as you can see, there are different times and it will tell you when to when you would expect uh, less crowd, moderate crowds, heavy crowds. So there are different times that you can kind of explore and see which ones work for you. And again, uh, depending on which ones are available, make sure that you are going to be in Medina on those dates, and then you make that appointment. You will select and then click continue. And as you click continue, you would find a uh, you would find that reserve for yourself. So let's say I want to try and book for the 17th if i select this date and time i click continue so again this is what i will see i have now booked a slot i can always cancel it if if needed but uh you have this barcode and then they will they will ask for it when you try to access it so you want to make sure that you do get it always uh, you know, make sure that you are you have you do get there when it's time. Again, similarly, you want to you can go to Umrah, and when you try to select for Umrah, you will see slots. Uh, Umrah, you might see fewer slots, and again, uh, from what we have seen in the past, Umrah times are very busy. They don't necessarily ask you for an appointment, but again, be on the lookout for in case uh, that becomes necessary. So yeah, make sure if you go now to permits, it will show you any active permits that have, that you have. Uh, past permits will show you any that you might have had done from before. Anything that's canceled. Uh, so yeah, sorry, you can see anything that's available. So the refresh is showing my active permit now, and that's something I would use.